Hi folks, Mr. Ackerman here. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, two different kinds of triptych photos using Google Docs. And you're going to need to do this if for some reason you don't have access to Photoshop. So once you get into Google Docs, and once you have your photos ready to create your triptych, click on blank, and that's going to get you into a blank document. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, orient the page the way you want your triptych to go. Most of them go sideways, horizontally, so you're going to want to rotate the page here by going File, Page Setup, and then changing to Landscape Mode. That's horizontal as opposed to Portrait, which is more vertical. And I recommend you change the paper size to Tabloid, which makes it more rectangular because letter is a little more square and generally we want a little bit more space going horizontally. Uh, you can also change the page background color but we'll get to that later. So click OK and this is what you're going to see. Now notice it's a really wide page so go over here and click either fit and now you can see everything fits horizontally or you can even go to a smaller amount like that like 50% zoom and now everything fits and you can really see what you're doing. It's up to you. Now, if you're just doing the kind of triptych that has three different photos, then very simply, you're going to go Insert, Image, Upload from Computer. I've already placed the photos that I want in my Downloads uh, folder here, so you can just see a quick preview. One is my daughter on a vacation in the ocean. Then there's my son, same time, same vacation, same beach and then there's the two of them together. And my plan is to put this image in the middle and have uh, my daughter on one side and my son on the other. So let's start with my daughter here. I'm going to open this and right away you notice it's way too big. So we're going to click on it and eventually we're going to make it smaller. But before we do that, it's important that you click here, Wrap Text. That's going to allow you to move the photo around the page. Then the next thing is to resize this so it fits on the page, always click the corner. When you click the corner, the photo scales evenly so it doesn't get distorted. If you click on the side like this or the top like that, you'll distort the photo and make it look really ridiculous, especially if it's got people in it, they're going to get distorted either too skinny and long or, or too stretched out. Anyway, move the photo to wherever you want it to go, and don't worry too much about lining things up right now. We're just going to click out of the photo so it's not highlighted, and then we're going to go insert another image, upload from computer. Uh, I think I said I wanted the two of them to go next, so hit enter or OK. Now where did this go? There it is. Click on it. Remember to wrap text and now start dragging always from the corner, never from the top or the side. Get that down to a size that you want and bring it into the frame. Now you'll see when you line up the tops that red line goes on and when you pull this down and you hit the bottom and they're lined up, Google Docs shows you that. So this looks like it's ready to go. Click out of it and now we're going to insert the last image right over here, I believe it's this one. Hit enter, and here we go again one last time. I'm gonna wrap text, I'm gonna pull in so that this thing fits. Drag it up onto the screen there, line it up with the top, line it with the bottom, and there you go. Now at this point, you might want to get the ruler up here uh, working to your advantage. If I could just click fit, then this will show me some numbers here. I can sort of see roughly where this lines up. If I go to a larger zoom number, I can see, okay, we are lined up at around four and a half inches, and it looks like I'm leaving a gap here of maybe just over half an inch. So over here, I want to do the same thing. And you can click and drag things over until they're lined up properly. You might need to change the zoom again because this isn't really the best photo editing uh, application. Photoshop is better so we're kind of using Google Docs for something it wasn't really really designed for. But anyway, uh, maybe I'll move that over. Just eyeball it at this point. I mean we're really 
just going for um, an acceptable level of symmetry here. So that's not looking too bad. And uh, at this point, you're almost done. What I would recommend if you want is maybe going back to File and scroll down to Page Setup and now change the color. You know, like there's sort of a water theme going on here. So maybe I'm going to put, um, I don't know, blue. How's that look? Okay, not bad. Maybe a different blue would be better, but let's uh, move on here. Click on this first one. Maybe you want to add a border. Uh, I'm going to do a solid border. I'm going to do the same here just to make these stand out a little bit more. And I think that doesn't look too bad. Now maybe I want to add some text. Maybe I want to say something like summer vacation. I think I shot this in 2018. So now adding text that is in a text box that you can move around and center however you want is a little bit tricky here. You actually have to go insert and we're going to insert a drawing, although we're not actually going to draw something. So go insert drawing new and in here, click the text box and just draw something out. And maybe I'll type summer vacation 2018. And uh, I don't like the size of this and I don't like the font. So let's highlight and let's go change the size here, make it a little bit bigger. I don't know, try 30. And let's also change the font to something with a little bit more character. Do I want that? Um, I don't know, maybe I'll try this one. Sure, looks fine. Change the size of the text box, save and close, and now this is down here, and you can just click, you have to wrap text again, but once you do that, you can move it, and the red line here will tell you if you're centered. So once you're happy with that, which uh, I think that's fine, the, the next thing that you're going to do is you've got to take the Google Doc here and turn it into an image because right now it's kind of like a text document. So first of all, we want to get rid of this cursor up here. So just keep hitting enter until it disappears onto another page and it's completely out of the way. And then scroll back here. Now the next thing is you want to take a screenshot in order to create an image. Now some of you know how to create a screenshot, some of you don't. If you do not know how to make a screenshot on your computer, then Google is your friend. Just open up a new tab and type in how to screenshot on either a Mac or a PC. So most of you are probably using a PC, so this is why I chose that. I happen to be using a Mac and it's really easy. On a Mac, all you do is you hit Command Shift Four, which brings up this little target here and you start in the upper left corner and you click and drag all in one shot to the bottom right corner and when you're happy it makes that little sound and here's your image. Now this is going to be saved somewhere wherever you've told your computer to save your screenshots. For me it goes right onto my desktop and it's going to be probably a PNG image, portable network graphic I think that's what PNG stands for. Uh, you'll know by your computer where you've set it, where those images are going. But that's it. That's your image, and you can uh, upload that as part of your assignment. Now, if you want to create the other kind of triptych, the one where you take one image and split it into three, I can show you how to do that as well. It's, uh, it requires a little bit of a trick. So let's start a new file here. We're going to go with blank. I'm going to do the same thing we did before, File, Page Setup, Landscape, Tabloid there, click OK, make it a little bit smaller so we can see everything. Now I'm going to add an image, Insert, Image. I have another image from the same trip and this was a landscape image that I took. I really like this image and uh, I wouldn't normally uh, modify it in any way, but Today, let's say I want to break it up into three pieces so it kind of looks like you're looking through a window that has maybe um, like a, you know, the window frame coming down vertically like that. So what I got to do is crop this into three pieces. So you're going to click on here where it says crop and we're going to start by cropping about a third of the way into the image. 
Now it is a little bit tough to judge where that is, but you can use the ruler grid on the top here, and I've shown you how to do that, so I'm not going to waste time by doing that again. But hit enter once you like your crop, make sure you've wrapped text the way you want it, and then what you're going to do now is insert the image again, and we're going to crop it this time for the middle piece. So click here, wrap text, uh, bring it down so it's lined up, bring it a little bit higher so you can see where it belongs. Make sure that you, whoops, that was the original image, don't want to move that, I want to move this one. Make sure you've got the same size image and it's not bigger or smaller. You can see by it going red, it's lined up at the bottom there. So let's see, I like to just line it up down there, then I'm going to go crop. Now I know I have to get rid of that part to about there. And now I've got to bring this one in to show about a third of the image. Again, you guys are going to measure this out using the ruler really carefully. I'm just trying to do this super quick to save you some time. But this is the idea. Now, whoops, I made a mistake there. I didn't crop too carefully, but I can fix that now. And I'm going to move that a little bit closer so it doesn't look too disjointed or anything. There we go. And anyway, you can repeat this with the last part of the image. Again, up to here, wrap text, make it smaller, but try to line it up with the rest of the image so that you're kind of working in the same crop ratio. Try not to move the existing images, get them closer, there we go, used to be there, perfect, go to crop, pull this over to there, and we're almost done. Uh, hold on a sec. Got to be able, well, I've screwed things up here, so I'm going to try this again. I'm going to insert the image, upload from the computer. There we go. Bear with me. Wrap text. Make it smaller. Pull it onto the page. And let's see, right over there. Pull down to there. Up to there. Now I know it's the right size, so I'm going to pull it off to there. Going to crop, and I know to crop to about there. Hit enter. Pull that to the side. And close enough for our purposes in this video. Uh, but you guys will obviously do a much more careful job. Uh, you can see I didn't do a very good job of making sure each part is the same. You don't have to. Uh, triptychs don't have to follow the rule that they're all the same size or width uh, strip. It's up to you. But uh, yeah, same procedure next. Maybe put a title down there, change the background color, get the cursor off to the side and screenshot it, and then save your image. And that's the way to do it without Photoshop. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Hope that works and looking forward to seeing the images that you submit. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.